Hi, my name is Jean Nave and I'm the author and illustrator of Harry and Lola Meet Santa Paws. This is a picture of the real Harry and Lola. We adopted them from Aberdeen Scottish Terrier Rescue after they were orphaned when their human mommy and daddy both died. We lived with many Scotties before, but we were not prepared to meet such extraordinary personalities. As you will see in this story, Harry and Lola are something really special. Here is the story of how Harry and Lola met Santa Paws. Twas the night before Christmas, and what could they eat? Not a bone, not a crumb, not the tiniest treat. Lola stopped reading to her friends and looked up. Oh, could there really be no food in the house, especially at Christmas time? She asked Harry and Smokey, the magical cat. The three friends lay beneath the Christmas tree. It was the eve of Harry and Lola's first Christmas in their new forever home. Smokey looked at his friends and said, Some dogs really don't have anything to eat on Christmas. Not even one single crumb, just like it said in the story. No, that can't be true. That's terrible, said Lola. The thought of having no food made her stomach growl. Even when she and Harry had been orphans, there was always food. There must be something we can do to help, said Harry, glancing at his pork chew and thinking he could share it if he had to. Indeed there is, said Smokey, if you truly care about others. Harry and Lola sat up straight. We do care, Harry insisted. We don't want a single dog to starve, added Lola. Well then, said Smokey, how about helping Santa Paws? Harry cocked his ears. You mean Santa Claus? No, I mean Santa Paws, Smokey said. Santa Paws was one of Santa Claus's helpers. He loved giving food to hungry dogs at Christmas time. So Santa Claus shared his magic with Paws and even gave him a big red dog sled for delivering the food and treats. Really? asked Lola. His own sled? Lola sprang to her feet. She loved any kind of travel. How do we meet him? Santa Paws lives in the far north of Canada, said Smokey. He has a special shop where he creates healthy dog food and mouth-watering doggy treats. How do we get there, asked Lola, her tail wagging. She really wanted to go. You have to do three things, said Smokey. First, you have to want to make Christmas a happy time for others, not just yourself. Harry wagged his tail because he loved making others happy. But Lola hesitated just for a second. What's next? asked Harry, giving Lola an encouraging wink. You have to fill your hearts with courage, said Smokey. He fluffed out his fur, making himself look twice as big as usual, for that is how courage looks to a cat. Harry and Lola thought about how it would feel to fly around the world through the night sky in an open sled. That would take courage. But we're Scotties and we're brave. We could do that, barked Harry. And Lola snuggled close to him, sure that she could be as brave as any dog alive so long as she was with Harry. What's the third thing, they asked together. Smokey started to say, Harry, repeat the magic words. As Harry slipped into her Christmas Lola slipped into her Christmas coat. The words were out of Harry's mouth. Sneezy, sneezy, zippity do. Away we go to meet Santa Paws too. And whoosh, a mighty gust of wind flattened Lola's hair. And then, and then they heard the sounds of cheerful chatter drifting over the night air. Suddenly the Scotties found themselves standing in front of a big doghouse built of sturdy logs its roof was frosted with snow. They peered through the open front door. Workers were stuffing packages with dog treats and delicious food. The smells made Lola hungry. As the Scotties watched the workers loading the packages into a brilliant lead sled, Lola asked Harry, Do you think we could have a teensy weensy bite? But she was interrupted by a voice with a Scottish lilt. Welcome, Harry, and we last Lola. They turned to see a handsome white Scotty with twinkling eyes dressed in a red winter suit. 
They instantly knew who he was. Harry stopped, right, stepped right up to greet him, but Lola hung back a bit, peering over Harry's shoulder. What can I do for ye? Santa Paws asked. It's Christmas Eve, and our friend Smokey told us that you help dogs that are hungry and in need of food, said Harry. We want to help, too. Aye, laddie, ye are just in time, said Santa Paws. We're a boat to leave, and I can use two brave and good-hearted helpers. Brave and good-hearted? Lola felt so proud. Meet my team, said Santa Paws. Harry nudged Lola, and the two Scotties scampered up to the front of the sled to meet four sleek huskies. Their black noses reached for Lola, and she shrank back behind Harry. But he stepped forward, greeting all four in turn. This is my lead dog, Thistle, the sharpest, said Santa Paws. She's the only lass in the bunch. Next is Woofer, the loudest, Valor the bravest, and Fleetfoot the fastest. These courageous huskies can face down any trouble makers we may meet. Harry and Lola were impressed by this heroic team. But what was this about troublemakers? Could they run into trouble on Christmas Eve? Hop aboard, said Santa Paws, and quickly he the sled gave a mighty shake. They floated up, sailing over mountains, farms, rivers, and cities with the speed and grace of a shooting star. Harry and Lola sat right up front where they could see everything. Lola snuggled deep into the fur rug covering the mountain of packages. What a magical ride! She wished it would never end. They traveled and stopped and traveled and stopped as they passed out the treasured food to hungry and homeless dogs. Harry and Lola, Lola noticed something special. Unlike Santa Claus, Santa Paws's team didn't stop on rooftops of houses. Instead, they went into the back alleys in the cities and to barns and sheds in the country where the homeless and forgotten dogs are found. At each stop, dogs ran to greet them, drawn by the sound of the jingling harnesses. They noticed something else, too. Woofer, Valor, Fleetfoot, and Thistle could slip in and out of those harnesses in a flash, even before the sled came to a stop. How do they do that? Lola wondered. She had to figure it out. On walks, she wore a collar and a leash, and she thought slipping out of the collar in a flash would be a nifty trick when she wanted to chase a squirrel. As they near the end of the night's journey, the sky was purple velvet, splashed with stars. Filled with some the sense of adventure, the Christmas troops sailed over the sandy deserts and green plains of Africa. There were few lights in the villages below, and this time, for some reason, Harry and Lola found themselves holding their breath as the sled made its last descent. They felt like the stop was going to be different. As they came closer to Earth, they heard a commotion. What was going on? No dogs ran to greet them, but a puppy was squealing, loudly and desperately. They all recognized the sound of terror, but mixed in was an eerie howling the Scotties did not recognize, something evil and dangerous. Harry growled deep in his throat. Lola thought, troublemakers, but surely they wouldn't be a match for four courageous huskies and two brave Scotties. Or would there be three brave Scotties? Could Lola find it in herself to face real danger? The sled stopped atop a rise, and in the glow of the setting moon, they saw a sight below that made Lola's blood go cold. A small puppy, eyes wide with fear and tail tucked beneath him, was spinning, trying to face six vicious attackers coming from all sides. Lola had never seen these big dog-like creatures before. They had long front legs and short back legs, and they had massive chests. Their eyes were yellow, and they gleamed, and their tongues dripped from black, laughing mouths. What are they? Hyenas, Thistle snarled. Hyenas, Lola repeated, and the word sent a pang of fear through her heart. Woofer, Valor, Fleetfoot, and Thistle slipped from their harnesses and leapt into the heart of the battle. Harry and Santa Paws followed as quickly as their short legs allowed. Lola had never seen Harry move so fast, but everything in her told her to stay in the sled and hide. Could Lola let Harry face such danger without her? 
Then, as one hyena lunged for the puppy, Lola's fear turned to rage. She tore across the meadow, her heart pounding in her ears. Teeth bared and flashing, the huskies rushed at the hyenas, driving the, the beasts deep into the bush. Thistle took on three of the bullies at once, charging and snapping while Fleetfoot and Wolfer chased off the others. Harry and Santa Paws created a deafening ruckus, snarling and growling and howling for all they were worth. Lola stood beside the shivering puppy. He quickly realized that she was a friend. You're safe now, said Lola, licking his tears away. The puppy's name was Rufus, which means red. Surrounded by new friends, Rufus calmed down and explained that he'd somehow gotten lost and he didn't know how to go home. Luckily, the Christmas troop had spotted his village coming in to land. They were happy to escort him home. Though it was unlikely the hyenas would return, Lola kept a close eye on the shadows the whole way to his house. It was quiet when they reached the village. Everyone was sound asleep. The troop didn't linger. They gave Rufus enough treats to share with all his friends and said goodbye. The puppy's eyes said it all. Thank you. I'll remember you forever. Just before dawn, back at Santa Paz's shop, an early Christmas brunch was served. Reminding Lola she was now starved, Harry dove right in. He had never tasted food this good. As they ate, Santa Paz told the story of how he'd begun his Christmas runs. He explained that Santa Claus had his hands full taking gifts to children around the world. That someone had to take care of all the dogs in need. Although dogs are called man's best friend, too many wind up homeless or forsaken. Somebody had to help. Lola stopped chewing for a moment. Recalling the gleaming yellow eyes and the long fangs of the hyenas, she thought about how scared she had been. She had to confess. She just couldn't have everyone thinking she was filled with courage when she really wasn't. In a small voice she said that even though she had been had promised to be brave, she had been frightened right to the bone. Santa Paz said softly, You and Harry are the two bravest helpers I've ever had. Harry looked at Lola and wagged his tail. To be afraid, but face danger anyway, said Santa Paz. Aye, that's true courage. Thanks to you and the Huskies, Rufus had a happy and safe Christmas. I hope you will help me again next year and every year. Their hearts soared as Woofer, Valor, Fleetfoot, and Thistle howled the story of the dog's victory over the hyenas. Lola joined in, her tiny soprano voice blending with the rich baritones of the huskies. Eventually, Harry whispered that it was time to go. Lola asked if he could please wait just one second. She had a very urgent question for the huskies. But Harry was already saying those magic words. Sneezy, sneezy, zippity doo, it's home we go, and just in time, too. And just like that, they were back home in their bed. Wonderful smells of Christmas filled the house. I didn't get to ask the huskies how they slip out of their harnesses, Lola said, turning to Harry. But he was already asleep. Lola closed her eyes, picturing Rufus's face, and thinking how good it felt to help all those dogs in need. Falling asleep, she heard the voice of Santa Paws calling out, Merry Christmas, dear dogs, and may you have a good night. Now, Harry and Lola want you to know that kids, if you would like to help Santa Paws too, it's real easy. You don't have to chase hyenas. Just make a Christmas donation to your local Humane Society or favorite dog rescue group. And then when you do, Send us an email through the Harry and Lola uh, website, which is www.harryandlola.org, and uh, we will send you a poster that looks something like this. It'll look just like this, but it'll have your name on it. And trust me, we will sleep so much better knowing that you and others are out there helping dogs in need. Thank you for listening to the story, and Merry Christmas to all of you, and may you have a good night. <laughs>